what up everybody welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm just going to be doing a quick little guide on how to get dire promise and this is because the amount of views my old dire promise video got and how to get the god roll and i uploaded this about a week and a half before the season of arrivals and it actually turns out that the way that you can get dire promises has changed greatly so before you know dire promise was a random world drop but it wasn't as common however now this gun is literally like dropping like flies. And I say this because, as you can see in my inventory, I have gotten so many of them recently. And I've actually gotten about four god rolls in total in the past month. So right now seems to be a really good time to be farming for a god roll dar promise. So if this is something that you're interested in, stick around and I'll show you the god roll and the ways to get it. Before we get into the video though, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I know to a lot that isn't really that many, but I've only been uploading Destiny videos for about a month now and the support on them recently has been insane so i appreciate you all and if you're not subscribed please consider it you know it does help the channel out however if you don't it's not the end of the world i won't be mad so the dark promise is a random world drop so let's say you're doing a raid or just doing a strike or whatever and a legendary engram drops however it seems to be dropping a lot more common now like i was talking about earlier but if you're not finding as many dire promises as you'd like just from doing strikes and raids and stuff like that then you can trade in your vanguard token your crucible tokens even gunsmith materials and as you can see i'm actually doing it right now and i managed to pull two dark promises in the span of like two minutes and if you remember before since this was just a random world drop from legendary engrams you could only get this from master rahul however don't even waste your legendary shards at rahul anymore if you just want a dire promise just because the amount that these dark promises are dropping right now there's it's literally just a waste of legendary shards all you gotta do is get a bunch of gunsmith materials which you get from dismantling weapons you can also get vanguard tokens from doing strikes as well as doing crucible and doing the crucible bounties in order to get those extra tokens i think in total i've gotten about like 10 dire promises so far it might be more than that but it's at least 10 so getting into the god roll for this weapon so for pvp the god roll that you would want in your sight slot you would want hit mark hcs and for your magazine slot you would want ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds however ricochet rounds would be the go-to now for the perk combination for this weapon after using this gun for quite a while now i've found that opening shot and range finder is definitely the best combo just because with opening shot you have improved accuracy and range on the opening shot in your mag so for your masterwork slot you can either have stability or range you definitely want the range masterwork on this gun but stability for hand cannons is also nice to have now this gun does have a power limit of 1310 which means until the end of season 13 so it means that this gun will not be sunset until the end of season 13 and what sunsetting is it's basically the power limit of what the gun can go up to this is it can only go up to 1310 once season 14 comes along you will not be able to upgrade the this gun to a higher light level anymore but that is quite a ways away so you definitely want to make sure you get this gun while it is dropping a lot right now i don't know if that's going to change in the future or not so now's the time to get that god roll and hopefully this video did help if it did be sure to like comment and subscribe i really would appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one all right peace